My name is Max, and you asked me to make a music visualizer in 3D, so that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'm going to be using 3JS for this, which is quite a bit different than the P5JS I've been using in previous videos. Obviously, P5JS is based off of processing, while 3JS is just a JavaScript library for 3D applications. It's a pretty crazy library. I used it before for an internship to make this like 3D geospatial visualizer but it was pretty confusing to me at the time, so I think I'll be able to wrap my head around it a little bit better this time. And obviously it's my first time using it in three years now, so I'm kind of excited to get back into it. As always, let's start by getting out the pen and paper and sketch out the idea that I want to implement today. My main inspiration for this visualizer is Joy Division's Unknown Pleasures album cover. So I want each line representing a snapshot of the Fast Fourier transform and the values at that snapshot. And a new line will be drawn every so-and-so milliseconds. Each line represents the frequency count of the song at that point in time. And then slowly the lines will move backwards towards the back of the screen as the song progresses and new lines will appear to fill their place. The amplitude might also represent the color of each line, but maybe not. And then I might also have the camera move around slowly. How am I going to do it? I'm going to use 3JS. So first, I need to make a simple 3JS scene and integrate it with my website, Gatsby. Then I need to add audio support, so have it play audio and do the analysis with the FFT. Then I need to learn how to draw the simple line with the FFT information. And lastly, I need to animate it and make it look good. Let's get started coding. <laughs> Quick update, so I was able to get 3JS up and running, integrated on my website with um, Gatsby. So that's <laughs> pretty cool. That's kind of one hurdle out of the way. So now I'm gonna start trying to add the audio to it and then actually make the visualization after that. Probably gonna stop for the night, um, but here's how it looks. Very simple and the code, I thankfully someone already made a tutorial on this. This dude, yeah, he already made this like little tutorial for it. So for the most part, I copied his. I just had to change a little bit of code over here using the window instead um, to actually make it be the size I want it consistent with my other visualizations. So that's how it's looking. Pretty cool so far. It's the next morning and I said I wasn't going to work on it more last night, but I ended up getting the audio working pretty much when I click on it. So yeah, it's probably really quiet right now because um, I'm using my computer speakers, which are kind of shit. But take a look at the code too. Pretty much how we're doing it is this audio loader, this listener, and adding the listeners to the camera, and then this 3 dot audio sound. It's pretty much just take in the song, do it, and then I'm also doing a audio analyzer. Um, so if I inspect the page, start the song again, you can see it printing. I think it's like the most prevalent frequency right now. It's probably like the pitch. Um, but yeah, so now on to the next stage, actually making the lines with the uh, Fourier transform. <laughs> Last night, I ended up getting kind of like the proof of concept done, but it looks <laughs> really bad. So I have a few ideas on how I can fix it. And then my friend also this morning sent me over the new song that I'm actually using for this visualizer. So I need to change that. But here's how it looks in the meantime. So like it is working, you know, it's doing the FFT. It's like the line like I want, but you probably can't tell on the camera, but in like looking at it, it like flickers really badly. So, yeah, I need to fix that. But for now, pretty good progress. So I have it looking like this. I need to change the colors back to black and white, but detail doesn't really come in too well. This is a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I think it looks cool, cool enough. <laughs> yeah. The visualization is done. So let's check it out. So 
I think it looks pretty sick. And for it being my first 3JS project, I'm really happy with how I was able to integrate it into my website and just get everything up and running and creating a visualization this quickly. I have one issue with it, which is how it kind of flickers, um, depending on like the computer you're using or like how you look at it. But that's not really an easy fix it's because of how I'm using lines and how WebGL renders them. So I think I masked it pretty well, but it is what it is. Also, it's pretty clear that it's quite different than my original idea. And that's just kind of how the creative process works, you know? You go into it with an idea and you end up changing it and it kind of just <laughs> becomes its own idea by the time you're done with it. As always, the code will be down in the description, so please feel free to use it however you wish. And if you're still watching, thank you. I hope you got something of value out of it. And if you liked it, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.